This is Alim from Javelin trying to find an answer to a very good question asked by Steve Krauss on the SOLIDWORKS forum. He wanted to find out what would be a, a possible methodology for identifying the resting points of any solid body. And as a case study he provided a lens with a very complex shape. I can see there are one, two, three possible areas for resting but I don't know which three out of four would be used. Notice that this imported body, actually imported file, doesn't have the right orientation in regards to the standard views. So the first thing I'm going to try is to place this into an assembly and simulate what's happening in a real life. So let me insert this lens. I'm going to insert it right here above this fixed plate. The top is planner. And this is a, always a good idea, uh, a good example for turning on the shadows. You can see the shadow as a confirmation that this is uh, above this plate. One thing that I will also do, I will turn on the transparency of the lens. Notice when I select, I try to select the lens, actually I'm selecting through it just because the material is transparent or the appearance has uh, transparency. I'm going to add another coat of paint right at the component level and you can see how now I cannot really select through it. Allow me to orient this in such a way that's going to be close to the finished position, finished resting position. And uh, a quick way to do that would be probably to turn on the move with triad, uh, to use the move with triad option. So as I'm going in, you can see I'm getting close to that. I'm going to try not to not to penetrate to the top plate. I can probably run move with uh, move with collision detection on, but I'm okay if I'm just stopping it a little bit above this plate. And allow me to go to the motion study tab, turn on the basic motion. So you don't need SolidWorks Premium for this. Actually, I would prefer basic motion instead of um, simula motion simulation just because I don't need any bouncing. I don't need a perfect simulation of the contact between the two. So let's establish the fact that we're going to have gravity that's going to go based on this arrow negative y and also contact. So contact between these two components. The other thing I will try to do is probably reduce the the time needed for this simulation to only two seconds. This is going to be a quick drop and increase the geometry accuracy and uh, 3D contact resolution to the max. I'm also going to increase the number of frames per second to about a thousand to make sure that I'm I'm as precise as, as possible. Let's calculate the motion study and you can see how after two seconds the lens rests on this plate and I see one, two, three areas of contact. I will do one more thing now. Directly here inside the motion study, I'm going to edit this component and I'm going to select the top face of the plate and create a plane that is zero millimeter above that plate, pretty much copying that top plate as a plate inside the lens. At this point I can actually close this assembly, I don't need it anymore. I'm just going to open the lens and see what happens here. Allow me to lock the references for this plane. So if I go by any chance uh, back to the assembly, this is not going to get updated. I know that this, this is exactly what I want. And allow me to create a, a point on that plane as part of a sketch. The only reason for that is because I need a coordinate system that's going to start on that point, which I know it's on the plane, and probably is going to have the Y normal to, to that plane. And the X, let's make sure that points to the left. I'm going to save this file as a parasolid 
so let's call it a parasolid and I'm gonna use the option to have the coordinate system driven by the sorry the um, triad of this file driven by the coordinate system that I created and I'm gonna call it javlens now if I open this file that I just created so uh, let's make sure I uh, I'm getting the parasolid filter and if I open this right now you're gonna find out that if I'm going on the front view I seem to have the correct orientation of this I'm gonna do one more thing that I believe would be worth trying which is turning this into a um, weldment and creating the bounding box for this lens so let's say the bounding box is gonna be red and if I make it visible you can see where it goes so in a way I have the bottom also represented by by this sketch now how do you identify the smallest uh, sorry the lowest points on uh, on the area of interest so that would be somewhere here somewhere here and somewhere there so let's uh, use a optimization study probably the only way you can do it is by adding points inside the 3d sketch so let's make sure I'm starting a 3d sketch a point on this edge we know this is the edge where this is the lowest and now trying to move this on the Z direction little by little until sorry not on the on the Y direction little by little until it doesn't go any any more than than this so this is pretty much the lowest point I can get on the Y direction let's add one more point over here I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna reduce the Y number to the smallest I can have so it looks like I cannot go more than that and the last one let's make sure that I'm I'm correct in saying that the last one is on this edge and I'm gonna place also a point here on that edge I'm gonna select the point and reduce the Y coordinate as much as I as I can now one thing to be aware of it's you notice it was slightly negative you would expect it would be a perfect zero and that's just because of the um, of the fact that the motion study has some approximation on the contact so if I'm looking at this one it's I'm gonna say it's pretty good it's so close to, to zero on the y direction this one also very close to zero on the y direction and the last one also very close to zero in the y direction in such a way that this can be considered uh, the lowest points I'm uh, just gonna rename this 3D sketch as resting points and I'm gonna give it also a very nice color well let's pick up green if green can be considered a, a very nice color in this case and uh, hopefully this would be good enough to be used for an inspection study now let me know if you find a better faster easier to create easier uh, to use methodology for creating these resting points thank you